Hey guys, welcome to The Daily Devo. I'm Bryn, and today we're gonna talk about acceptance. As we wrap up this series on hospitality, I wanna encourage you and I to put into practice accepting those who we may not necessarily agree with. I want to read three verses found in Romans chapter 15. It's verses 7 through 9. Here's what they say. Therefore, accept each other just as Christ has accepted you so that God will be given glory. Remember that Christ came as a servant to the Jews to show that God is true to the promises he made to their ancestors. He also came so that the Gentiles might give glory to God for his mercies to them. One of the coolest things that God has done for you and I is that despite our issues, he's accepted us the same way he accepted Jews and Gentiles of the day during this text. Now, most of us, if we're honest with ourselves, can acknowledge the fact that we have come nowhere close to living a perfect life. And while some of us may have grown up as Christian, it doesn't matter if you've been saved one day or 50 years. The Bible is clear. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Yet based on his grace, his mercy, and his love, Jesus has freely accepted you and I as sons and daughters in the kingdom. Now here's the thing. If Jesus can do that for us as representatives of Christ and kingdom kids, let's do that for one another. Today I want to encourage us to spend less time on what we disagree on and more time on what makes us the body of Christ. Now, what makes us the body of Christ, you ask? It's the fact that we serve an amazing God who loved us, died for us, rose for us, and watch this, is coming back again for us. We may agree to disagree on some issues, but as Paul writes, let's agree to accept one another so that Christ may be glorified.